Great morning. Great morning. Great morning. Great morning. And welcome back to another episode of Great Morning. I'm your host, Christian Murmur, Murms, Murm Dog, whatever the fuck you want to call me. And to the top left of my computer screen, we have the fact queen, my sister from the East, that Puerto Rican mamacita from Spanish Harlem, Stephanie 2.0. How you doing? Well, hello, there, motherfuckers. Hello, how you doing today? How are you? I'm fucking great. I'm good. Good. We're, I'm fucking good. It's the first uh first podcast of well, first for this season of July, you know. We're uh yeah. fucking sh- you know, it's it's officially uh, America's month, so move aside Pride month, you know, we're here. We're 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 flying the American flag now. Woo! You know, it's a it's a good time. You know, Stephanie, yeah. how are you feeling after um I know last uh week's episode there was a um it was a much longer episode than normal. There was the the, the big great morning debate that happened. Um uh how how are you after all that? I know that was an exhausting episode. Chilling. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly fine, you know, doing regular shit, being Stephanie, medicated or not medicated, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say, is the Vivance hitting you today? Absolutely not. I didn't take oh. that shit. Absolutely not. Hell Why not? You take that later on? Nah, I you know what? I I I only take that when I have to go to work. So Monday through Friday, I am medicated. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Like if I have to like lock in and like I have to work from home, then I'll I'll take it so I could just focus. But I'm not on it right now. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm vibing, you know. I'm at my Mother-in-law house, you know, I'm just chilling. I'm in PA. Oh, hell yeah. I hope the weather's better over there. It's very yeah. humid today. What's up with you, Mark? I'm fucking oh. great. It's great to hear from you again, as always. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, introduce some of these other wonderful people we have with us today. To the bottom left of my computer screen, we have our in-studio comedian, Chubbsway, Topazkin, Chuck. How you doing, Chuck? Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the first of the month. It is. But by the time this episode drops, it'll be past the 4th of July. So I feel like we should discuss. Well, we'll get into that later, but we'll, we'll discuss some of, uh, you know, the great American history, maybe. It's the 4th of July. <laughs> yeah, dude, like that. Don't let people know we record this in days in advance. That was the problem with, you know, we've talked about that many times. That's why we try not to do uh current things that are happening in the news that still have more information that need to be said because remember when we did um we were talking about last season that girl who went missing and then it like they were on youtube her and her boyfriend then it turns out like her boyfriend killed her and her body was missing they're looking for the we we were talking about that like in the middle of it and i was saying to jimmy beforehand i'm like i feel like we shouldn't talk about it because by the time this episode releases there's going to be more information and what fucking happens by the time before the episode releases they like everything gets solved they're like oh yeah we found the boyfriend he killed himself in the woods he admitted to killing her and we're like god damn it because we're sitting there on the episode speculating so by the time yeah. it came out we i'm like we're going to sound like idiots because we're everyone's going to be like what they they already figured it all out and it's all no, no. for the did, kids all right did, was was any of y'all right that's what i want to know probably not <laughs> probably not <laughs> maybe <laughs> justin what did you say <laughs> I said, that's a crazy turn for the case. Like, woman goes missing, boyfriend kills himself, that admits that. Well, he wrote I, he wrote it, like, in his journal, like, on his body. Like, oh, yeah, I killed her, blah, blah, blah. You know, oh, man. Yeah, so nonchalantly. Yeah, oh, man, I did it. Yeah, I did it. Now I'm going to kill I'm myself. Dead. So it was like, all right, yeah. And they, they figured it out. So, But, yeah, because some people were like, I bet he didn't kill her. That's why he's hiding. And I'm like, motherfucker yeah. killed that bitch. God damn. He fucking, they got into some <laughs> crazy end of the relationship fight. And he just saw red and he probably went swinging or something. She fell, broke her neck. And then he's like, God damn it. That's Arch. real. That's real. That's real. There or something. Yeah. No, yeah. it was, uh, yeah, no, that's real. It was a you, rough time. You, you, you got, you got to be in some shit to see it though. Yeah. Like, you know what? God damn. I got 
you got to catch yourself at, at that tipping point. Yeah. That's why it was okay last week when we talked about the uh, Ocean Gate thing, because that by the time we talked about it, it was already all done. We're like, yeah, all right, cool. They found out they all died. They, they imploded about 2000 feet down. Cool. We can talk about it. Man, those memes are elite. Yeah, are they're elite. we were talking about that, too, is like, I don't know. I don't know if that's just how we as human beings now, especially in America, like to cope with things. Or are we really all that fucked up that like just people are dying and we're like, uh, uh, not even an hour later, someone is making some fucking memes about it. Man, I saw one earlier today. And we it was like King Triton holding the Ocean Gate submersible. Yeah. And they changed the front of it to a pocket pussy. <laughs> I saw I was that. Like, Yo. <laughs> if they were if they were poor, it would be a sad thing. Because, I mean, majority of the people that are making these memes, they're not saying they're poor. But, I mean, they're poor than these rich people. See, yeah. I don't I don't know if that's necessarily true. I mean, yeah, because like we don't have billions of dollars, so we can't relate to that. But at the same time, I think it's still sad that people died because you got to think about it this way. What if tomorrow, like, you know, all of you just had this great idea or something and you ended up just making this great invention or whatever and you get a billion dollars, you're still, you know, my friend. And then if something happened to you and you died and people were like, well, fuck them, they were billionaires. It's kind of like, yeah, but they were, they were a good, you know, that was a good guy, you know, like, fuck, like, you yeah. know, he, he just, you know, he was trying to build wealth for his family, you know, can you, uh, I mean, how's how so good, terrible? How good was he really, though? Because you I had, know. Uh, you had your, your son that went to the Dog on Bleak 182 co- uh, concert. Yo, that was, that's fucked. That's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> yeah, he did like, that. Yeah, I mean, my dad's it's dead. What it is. Like, what do you, you know? Like, your father, like, come on, like you're you're in the fucking ocean. Like, what? I already have tickets. What am I gonna do? Not go? What the fuck? Like, yo, I uh, he's dead. <laughs> like, it's over. So, all right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna so What's you about to go have your best name? life? What's my name again? You gonna go turn up? Damn right. Would your dad want you to be sad? No, my dad would not want me to be sad because he's gonna be like, yo, like. It said on the fucking waiver, um, you you can it die. It pretty much said on that waiver, like you are going to die. Like yeah, this, so, you are going to die. <laughs> this is wait, not built they, right. There was, there was a waiver. Oh yeah, they all signed oh, yeah. waivers. Nah, come on, man. You guys, you got me fucked up. Yeah, they signed waivers that said it, it was like, listen, like this could possibly be a one way trip. I would like to read that waiver actually. Um, can we can we time. can we get that? Can Let we see if I could bring that, it like, up? Public record. I mean, it might be because if you, I mean, well, now I, no, but I mean, if you I had you a, uh, Ocean Gate waiver, that would be wild. Oh, I found it. I found the shit. No way. No, you, you found didn't. it. Hold up. Are I you on? I assume full responsibility for the risk of bodily injury, disability, death, and property ch- damage. Due to the negligence of any release party while involved in the operation. That's all it says? That's like a big part of it. I mean, like it's like an article that has like part of the waiver and what they signed and the pictures of the dead people. It's kind of sad to look at now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, but, yeah, it's a little sad. All yeah, right. so it says if the waiver listed three ways to die just on the first page. Oh. That's pretty great. Um, ways to die. They found, uh, <laughs> uh, there was, it'd be funny if there was a lot, there, wow. there were many more ways that it could have gone wrong. Wow. No, man. Are you, are, isn't there a waiver or something for us to sign when we drive in a car? Is that not a thing? Yeah, yeah when you sign your that. license, that's a waiver. <laughs> Is it? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a binding agreement with the, with the state government saying that. Like basically driving is a privilege, not a right. And it can be revoked. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I knew that, but I mean, I don't, I didn't think it went over like, you know, if you, you could die, it's kind of like, Oh, I don't know about that. I know it covers like, like the DUI stuff. Like you have to blow in the breathalyzer, take a blood test. If you don't you lose your license, that type of stuff. But mm. I'll, I'll go ask my cop friends. Go ask your cop friends, please, and let us know exactly what it says. Um, Stephanie, what is that face? Why are you looking like that? Oh, no, I'm trying to um, fix my settings over here. 
Stephanie, you know, be cool. We haven't done this in a while. What? It'd be cool if you did this later. If maybe you could find some uh, America facts for us. Oh, hell yeah. I got you. Yeah. Find some, 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 you know, America birthday facts, stuff like that. Um, gotcha. This is America on the 4th. I wonder. Um, I'll look that up later. But anyway, listen, Chuck, it's great to hear from you. Stephanie, it's great to hear from you as always. But, uh, you know, people already heard him talking. But uh, just in case anyone didn't know, we, we have a we have a guest today. And this isn't just any uh, any old guest. All right. This is I'm pretty sure at this point a special guest co-host. All right. He's in that status now because he's been on so many times. He's been on since season one episode like fucking three or something right something Almost, crazy yeah something super fucking early very long episode too if i recall it was almost like a two hour long episode because we were talking to you about a bunch of shit um but yeah that was almost god damn that's almost four almost, and a half years ago four and a, it's four and a half years ago that's how jesus I'm, I'm i'm feeling old that's back when i was a young a young pup in the in the podcast game i was just a 21 year old who who bought a microphone and met Jimmy and, and Kilo and didn't know what the fuck I was doing. You know, those were the those were the days. But anyway, here we are four and a half years later, and he is back. Our dear friend, Justin Bentubo. How are you? Friend? I'm doing all right, man. Thanks for having me on again. It, um, you know, great to be here with the Great Morning Podcast. And uh, yeah, I don't stay in touch with you guys enough. So it's good to catch up. Yeah, we always like to get you back on um, because, well, first of all, we, we like talking to you, but I feel like every time you've come on, you've got something crazy to tell us. I know like the last two times, because it took a while, we talked about the shoulder incident with you, um, with, you, you know what I'm talking about, of course, right? I feel everyone's silent. Of course. Of course yeah, yeah. Everyone, <laughs> everyone should know what I'm fucking talking about there. Um, you know, we went over that. So I feel like you always got something crazy to tell us. So I wanted to ask, how have you been since we last talked to you? What's been going on in your life, man? Oh, man, I've been... Uh been good I've, uh, I've been playing a lot of golf okay and that uses the shoulders no, no i'm a lefty man it was my right shoulder so i'm good oh okay all right there you go that's my way around it right if i there was you go <laughs> right-handed then I, I wouldn't be able to play golf but yeah luckily, left-handed so that's good but uh yeah i'm finishing up my masters too hell yeah so, um be done with that probably in three and a half months so that's okay. exciting you haven't done um you have you not you've not done the the fighting in a while then huh no nah, man um so i have arthritis through my whole body yeah like my hips my back so kind of don't want to be a cripple that's yeah kind of, uh, I, I understand kind of i don't want to be walking when i have kids one day so yeah i just yeah. kind of uh you know took a step back so i can get my body right and uh maybe one day one day yeah uh, I know it's just but for like, now. You know, yeah. Not I really. Was, uh, not really. I, going. I always just felt bad after that injury because it's like, it's like crazy. Like, like, like I said, you go back to the first episode, we talked to you and you, we were ready to have you kick me in the chest on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I think it was the leg man. Yeah. I was like, I think you, uh, I forget what you said. I think you're like, oh, does it really hurt that bad? And you kicked in the legs. I was like, I don't know. You want to try? <laughs> like, I was, oh yeah. I was like, and I, I, I think I was like playing along, but then you, Taught my bluff. You're like, oh yeah, you want to try it? And I was like, yeah, no, I don't want to fucking do. That. No, I know that's gonna fucking you could break my fucking leg. I don't want to fucking do that. I mean, uh, he's Jimmy was like, uh, though, right? He was egging you on, man. Oh yeah, Jimmy. Oh yeah, Jimmy always eggs me on to do that stupid shit. Of course, that's his. That's his shtick. <laughs> he, he always wants me to do. He wants me to eat pizza with hot sauce on it. Like he'll always try to do that shit with me. When we hey, did the ice bath, watching? we did the ice bath challenge uh, earlier this season. Yeah, it was special. And Jimmy was like, "Yeah, you should definitely." Do that. <laughs> he's like, he, he'll, he's yeah, he likes egging you on to do that shit. And then Man, he, thinking back he, to that episode, right? What's yeah, up? Yeah, we thought we thought he was gonna do it. You thought, thought, yeah, yeah, you thought he was gonna you do thought. it. thought that's about that's that's the extent of it. You thought? No, nah, I wanted to do it. I just didn't have the setup. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, of course. <laughs> you know, I was moving places. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get the ice. I was moving, you know, couldn't get the ice. It was like the ice thing, you know, a lot of issues. Yeah, a lot of that. Well, anyway, uh, you know, real quick, uh, Justin, I hate to cut you off, but I want to go ahead and uh, introduce, you know, the other person that just joined here, you know, with, you know, let's just let's just get right at it. Uh, to the bottom left of my computer screen, we have the boss, the pimp, the CEO, the senior chief, slightly special himself, Jimmy the Shooter. How you doing today, bro?
Still shooting. Still shooting. Hell yeah. That's it, man. Still shooting. Are you excited that we are now in uh, America's birthday month? Uh, you know, I said this again before, you know, move aside pride month. It is it is time for uh, America's birthday party. Are you excited for this month, Jimmy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm excited for, uh, you know, the significance of everything. I'm excited for the downtime, the family time. It's a good holiday. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? Am. It's not a, it's not a bad holiday. I do recommend everybody out there, though, be safe. Fireworks and alcohol and drugs don't mix. So, uh, you know. <laughs> unless you want to have fun yeah unless you want to have like a good time <laughs> or lose your legs you know just get the big ones yo, yo you remember those those uh mm-hmm. what was it like 50 millimeter fireworks yeah like uh, the mortar ones yeah the mortar yeah, ones. yeah the big ones the ones people yeah. just like frog mouths and stuff and then you light and then you throw the frog yeah yeah i remember them yeah i need to find some of those oh okay that was it i thought you were gonna like <laughs> tell us a story or something i was, I was like no, I'm going to be I'm going to be in Arizona, so maybe I'll be able to find some. Oh yeah, you can cross the border because right California they're strict on that, right? Fireworks. Yeah, some yeah. states are strict. New Jersey's a little strict too, so you have to everyone always goes over to Pennsylvania. And yeah. it's so funny, you cross the border. Stephanie could tell you this too. Right at the border of Pennsylvania, the first like 10 stores you'll see are just fireworks stores. These that is the people fact. are coming over trying to get that shit that uh, back is to a- New Jersey. That's- that. really well pennsylvania is like one of those like cool cool states you know it's like they have <laughs> it's one of those cool cool states <laughs> why is it a cool, cool what's state? up dude what's going on congrats on the masters oh thanks bro yeah i'm excited man i mean um you know finally making some good money finally uh work with some good companies so is it ai know. is it ai are you working with ai yeah yeah like predictive analytics you're working with what? What's that? Predictive analytics. So um, essentially, like companies will come in and say, hey, we have all this data. We don't know what to do with it. So uh, can you guys analyze it for us and give us predictions on a specific part of our business? So like it could be like, hey, how many customers are going to renew their policy in the next like 90 days? We can look at their historical data and tell them. Oh, okay. So it's like data analysis. Data analysis, but predicted Projected. based off the data. Yeah. yeah oh, my God. Data analysis. You're the person I need to talk to. <laughs> Steph, was, Steph was just talking about this. She was just like, hey, is anybody good with data analysis? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm not good with it. I have a software that's good with it, but it costs a lot of money. So how, how much? Uh, average deal size is anywhere from like 100K to 300K a year. Oh, okay. What's, what's the software called? Uh, I cannot name it on the podcast, but I can talk to you offline about it. Oh, one of cool. oh, that sounds fucking okay. All right, all right, shit, Mister, working with the fucking CIA over there or something. I wish, man. I've been watching a lot of podcasts with people from the CIA, and I was like, man, you guys are fucking badasses. <laughs> like going to fucking Iran and growing a beard out and just chilling. And I went, I went on a date uh, not long ago with a uh, a girl. I won't say exactly the sector she worked with, but she was telling me about that, and it was weird. Because like I didn't know that beforehand, and she was telling me more and more about working that way with the government, and I just I couldn't help myself, but but I couldn't help but feel like when I was sitting there like at dinner with her, kind of being like I really can't piss this girl off because she's she's not like the regular like kind of crazy girl that would run up and slash your car, or your tires, or something if you pissed her off. Like the kind like she works with like the government <laughs> like like i i don't want to fucking piss this person off i feel like she just had my phones tracked or shit like you know put me on a watch list or something so you guys uh, up on this regular you said regular girls that slash your tires why is that regular yeah, well right. i mean you know i i guess it's not regular but i mean i feel like the old school like if you're on a date with a girl you had a girlfriend ex-girlfriend and she's pissed off at you that's maybe the kind of shit she does throw throw your clothes in, in a fire or you know maybe slash your tire that's not why like that um, your hand. that sounds like uh what's her name um this motherfucker carrie carrie underwood carrie underwood oh yeah the song uh-huh. that's an old yeah. song now that's oh, the yeah. issue that's the problem with kids nowadays man they're listening to too much carrie underwood thinking they can do whatever they want to do you know is that the problem with kids these days? <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's the problem now. You got all these songs, these hippity hoppity songs out here talk about my wet 
P is this and my, my booty dad and I'm a queen and I don't cook, I don't clean and I, I slash tires, you know? I don't think she sung about any of that except for the last part. <laughs> I think you just came up with a new song and that's just a banger. <laughs> is, is, that, is that thing popping? You like don't, don't try to don't sound old. Don't sound old. Don't do that. The, thing, like, the, thing, is, the thing is popping now over there. Now. <laughs> the thing is cool. I, yo, it's crazy. Back to uh to bring it back to the crazy chick though. Yeah, I think the um the whole she probably knew everything about you, Merms, before before she met you. No, she I don't think she's crazy. I just said if I I, I all I was saying, Jesus Christ. I'm not saying she's crazy. I'm all I was if saying was like if you're listening, chick that he went on a date with a month uh, ago. Um Merms, when's the wedding, bro? Yes, tomorrow. It better be tomorrow now because hopefully she doesn't hear this fucking podcast. No, I don't. I, I, I did not say she was crazy. I said I just should not ever get on her bad side just in case because I feel like she knows how to throw a drone strike somewhere. So we shouldn't talk about what you, what you said about her last week. I didn't say anything about her last week. You can go back and listen All to the that podcast. Was doing last week. We should have talked about that. <laughs> it's not. You're so, if it, this uh, didn't, lady. If you're listening, lady, Merms is, is he said he does he doesn't apologize. He's not sorry. You see what I mean? Like Jimmy likes to egg, he likes to stir the pot a little bit. He likes he's that. Trying to this, this, he's trying to make this real juicy couture. This yeah, he, he he likes he's that. That's not his thing. I've known him long enough to know what he's just trying to he's trying to poke the bear a little bit, but he'll get mm-hmm. behind people and poke the bear with a long he's stick. Mixy. <laughs> Drone strikes ain't shit. <laughs> he likes to do that you know justin justin also likes to point some stuff out you know i i now i feel like this is the second podcast now where you've said it's something third. about it's my past third. yeah where now third. i have to go in with the editing team and fucking bleep something out that you said there real quick <laughs> no man i mean look look the, the people don't know until you react i mean it's you're in control of your reactions right yeah, I guess so. I just feel like for this for this five minutes now, the the listeners are going to be like, "What the fuck kind of secret do they know that they're talking about here?" It's an inside joke. Inside joke. Inside joke. Of course. Yeah. yeah inside. And in, in, you know, inside joke. You know, right. you'll never know. We'll never know. Well, anyway, Justin, uh, you're still in uh, because we were just. I, I'm just saying it again. You're still like in the the Boston, Massachusetts area. Is that correct? Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, why? Unfortunately, man, it gets cold. Oh, yeah. Snow sucks. I hate the taxes. <laughs> Rent is too much money. Good no. seafood. That, that's about it. That's yeah, about it? I love, what about the people? You don't like the people in Boston? No. Really? Nope. Why? Man, everyone's too clicky here, man. I, I'm, not, I'm not about that. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, I feel like I, because I've gone, you know, I'm close to New York City, um, as everyone knows, and I'm, uh, I go to Boston often. It's only an hour flight away. Um, but I feel like every time I've hung out in Boston, I've had a much better time. And I feel like the people are much nicer than the ones in New York. Well, it's because you don't live here, bro. That's why. Like, That's I mean, true. Yeah. That is very true. I'm, I'm scared. Kind of scared. Last week, and I was like, man, Jersey's a shithole. <laughs> I'm scared to go to New York. <laughs> why, why is Jersey a shithole? You big as fuck, bro. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to go over there. Afraid of to what? Where? Yeah. Because you Yankees is on some other shit, man. You can't make eye contact. You can't smile. That's all I do. Hey, I'm not a Yankees fan. Wait, are you talking about New Jersey or New York? New York. Both of them. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> no. All East Coast. All yeah. The tri-state area. I don't yeah. fuck with you. <laughs> all of you New England motherfuckers. No, don't, no. hey, tri-state New England, bro. Come on. Don't, don't do that. Yeah, come on now. That ain't. That ain't the tri-state. Oh, anymore. so are they are they nicer in Maine? Is that what you're saying? Well, Maine's even more north. That's that's not even like Maine he's is in Massachusetts. Canada Junior, bro. Yeah, is well, it? yeah, I bro. Is. Maine, Maine is like touching Canada. Yeah, no, I know that's true. I always just thought that term went with um with Alaska or North Dakota. I guess I never really thought of Maine like that. I mean, same, same, right? I guess you I guess you treat Maine like I treat Vermont. I forget about Vermont all the time. <laughs> Man, sometimes I forget Vermont's even a state. Like I, I've never met a person from Vermont in my life. I have Ooh. because my uncle lives there, but he's not from Vermont. He just lives there now. No, no, besides family, right? Have you ever like in the military and everything, right? You meet people from everywhere, right? East Coast. No one's ever been like, yeah, I'm from Vermont. Like that's never been that's true. Like no one that I remember, at least. You're right. Yeah, Verm- Vermont's like I feel like Vermont's fake. Doesn't exist. <laughs> no, dude. I feel like if you go to Vermont, you're probably not gonna leave Vermont. 
Oh, yeah, no one, no one, no one leaves out of Vermont. No one. Was it like famous famous? for the East Coast? Maybe, maybe they got something going on over there, though. Maybe it's very nice. Like, there's yeah. very beautiful. There, there's a lot of beautiful spots in Vermont. When I was driving up there, it was very nice. There were at least it looked nice. I don't know. Again, I don't live there. I thought you were right, well, there's a lot of beautiful women, and I was gonna be like, man, I'm imagining like, <laughs> like women from Alabama, <laughs> but in the north. <laughs> there, there might be beautiful women. I don't know. I didn't Shit. really get to look around that much. Um, well, it's pretty. It's pretty funny because Vermont is the top. Is one of the top three most forgotten about states. So you got Wyoming. Yeah, why? I was gonna say Wyoming. <laughs> And North Dakota. North Dakota. How is Wyoming a forgotten state, bro? You got like the Grand Teton National Park, right? I think it's the most uh what the fuck is that? It's just it's the like least... the most it's like the it's the least like populated uh, known populated state. It's also it's just one of those places that's like, yeah, it's least populated and underdeveloped. Because I remember Kanye Wyoming got... during COVID, bro, and that shit was wild. Who was in Kanye Wyoming? got four thousand acres then? <laughs> Yeah, because I was looking for places to go like where you didn't have to wear masks, right? So I went to Utah for some shit to hang on my boy. Yeah, and then we uh, well, like, yeah, let's go to Grand Teton. So we drove up there like six hours, bro. That place is kind of lit, but also scary because it's the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Actually, yo, I was there when that shit Gabby Petito got like kidnapped and killed. That's bro. what I. That's what we were talking oh, about shit. before. That's oh, what. We're, that's shit. what her name was. I forgot her name. Yes, Gabby Petito. Yeah, bro. I yo. So me and my boys were hiking through uh, Grand Teton when that whole thing happened. Oh, jeez. Wow. Like, Which could have been you. That was wild. Could have been you. I almost got attacked by a buffalo too. That shit was crazy. Oh, what? My God. This is why. This is this is this is what I'm. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is why people aren't going to Wyoming. You almost get attacked by a buffalo. Man, yeah, so the buffalo are like in the middle of the road. I tried to walk up to him and take a picture. Oh, well, that. Well, I, mean, <laughs> no, no, okay. do that. I, I walked like within 20 feet of it trying to take a picture. And the thing like looked at me and tried to charge me. <laughs> I just don't feel like you should fuck with buffalo like that. I mean, but do you know who I am? Yeah, but don't you want to be able to walk? You just said you wanted to be able to walk. <laughs> and not be <laughs> Did I die? <laughs> Think about this, okay? Think Buffalo is one of those creatures that's like, I mean, they're just fucking strong as fuck. Like, you know, people are scared of like bulls, but I would, I think I would be a little bit more scared of a buffalo than a bull. Uh, yeah, the buffaloes are like double the size of bulls, man. Yeah, and I wouldn't take a picture with the bull. Are, are they mm-hmm. as fast as bulls? Though? I think they can get really if they if they are running for a distance. I think they can get really fucking fast. Imagine, like they used to man. be able to trample people when they were on their on horseback. I, I, I mean, think about it though. Like, imagine how badass humans were, right? Like Native Americans and like a lot of the people that colonized America. These people were hunting these fucking buffalo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had to create a gun specific to killing buffalo because there wasn't one strong enough. Yeah, like buffalo is like that thing. I wonder how it's many pretty- arrows it took to bring down a buffalo. There's definitely. Oh, that's- a- it couldn't be one, right? Even Stephanie, with a good look shot. The fact. Look how many how many arrows did it take to kill a buffalo? How many arrows did it take to kill a buffalo? X X GPT is the Jamie of the Good Morning podcast. Yes, Stephanie will look up a lot of stuff for us. Well, yeah, you know, J- Jimmy and I will o- often try to look something up. Or I feel like Jimmy always has like a separate screen ready to just look some shit up. But yeah, I wonder how many times it took because like. They would they would track herds of buffalo and they would oh they would be run anyway. Listen, yeah, I don't know why you oh, got... shit, I just looked it up. It's kind of wild. What? So it only took three or four, but the reason behind that is because the animals don't die instantly. And the more they run, the more the arrow digs into their body and kills them. Mm. Oh. I Smart. Know. And then you gotta run them off a cliff or something. I know that was the technique. You know, have mm. you guys you guys ever watched that show alone? Yes. No, yes, I have. This, so alone to pretty much bring down the concept, right? Alone is they take 10 wildlife contenders, right? And they throw them in the Arctic, like my favorite season, season six, right? They take these people, they throw them in the Arctic and they teach them how to vlog. They give them all the camera gear, the video gear. There's nobody following you out there. They do weekly checkups. Things like every Wednesday they come out and then they get your body composition, your nutrition, you know what I mean? Kind of get your vitals and see like, hey, are you surviving? Like, are you doing all right? Whoever lasts the longest gets like 500K, right? There's this gentleman on there. He completely was 
fucking thriving. He's from Canada. He goes out and he kills a fucking moose, bro. <laughs> Dude murders a moose, right? Tracks the moose like two or three miles away from his camp because he shot it with an arrow, right? He's like, oh, yeah, I got it. Followed this moose for like three miles and then pulls out a fucking pocket knife, right? Moose dies. He comes up, finishes off the moose, completely skins and cuts off and butchers this entire moose the same day and then hikes all of the meat back to his fucking camp over a span of like 11 hours, right? And then what's even crazier is now he's got all this fucking moose meat and moose fat, so he's attracting other predators to his camp. And this fucking wolverine starts getting in his shit. And he's like, I got a wolverine problem. I got a wolverine problem. So he starts building all these like high stilted things and like hiding his moose meat and stuff. But the wolverine comes one day and then he kills the wolverine with the hatchet and eats it. <laughs> Yo, yeah, these guys well, are like tough wildlife guys. I can see Merv's doing that. You can yeah, see me Merms doing that? Do <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, I'm not built for that. Couldn't do I don't. That. I don't know if I'm built to kill a to kill a, shoot a moose with an arrow and then track it for three miles, carve it up, bring it back, and then when a wolverine starts fucking with my shit, I kill the wolverine. I don't know if I'm necessarily built for that either. I mean, you're skinny. You can run. Yeah, uh, I, like, I, I yeah, I don't. But a moose, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I want to do that because, like, I'm one of those guys that I I see a nice day outside and I'm like, you know, I should go hiking, and then I go hiking. And like halfway through the hiking, I'm like, this, I fucking hate this because like all the bugs and shit. I'm like, oh God, I can't, I can't stand being outside right now. I want to go back inside. I feel like I'd give up. I'd be one of those guys that gave up pretty early in that show. I think I'd try it out for a bit, but I wouldldn't I don't know if I'd win. Well, you give up half a million dollars for real? Well, they so they go out there in the show with like 20 other people and they set them in all different areas. So and they don't know when someone gave up. So that's the thing. They wait until it's just the last person. So they don't know when they give up, like if there's five people left, if there's 19 people left, if there's only one other person left. And then oh, wait, you're out there by yourself and you don't know there's 20 other people out there. Yeah. You know, well, no, you know, you know that, that you don't know, you know of them, but you don't. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know how many people are left. You don't know who's quick. Do they ever like team up and shit? No, they're, no. they set them so far apart that like you couldn't. Yeah, like no one's ever no nah, bro you, you, you get like some former navy seal or green beret out there right he'll he'll find a way to team up with a motherfucker bro and uh and get that shit done i think nah, they've had a, former uh, navy seals yeah, yeah. on that there show a, there was a it wasn't a navy seal but it was like an army ranger but he was taken out by a mouse he ate a mouse and got like a stomach sickness and started vomiting and throwing up and he called it what's the name but of the show then, i wrote this up it's called alone alone man alone on Netflix. it's a great show season six even then though the guy that killed the moose was still like he was out there but the moose meat was so lean that he was still starving yeah oh yeah i forgot about that fact yeah it was so lean that he was still just losing weight still from losing eating weight it. couldn't eat enough like he, there was like essential aminos and fats that your body was missing yeah there was so, like no fats or carbs or anything yeah yeah it, it was uh it was insane it was uh it was a pretty rough time for him i also like how they do it in different locations though every season yeah, like, yeah, but the Arctic's probably my favorite. That one, that, that's, one, that one is. I don't uh, think I could do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think I, Justin was saying he thinks I could do it. I don't know if I could fucking do that. They're out there for a long time. Some of those days, long time. There was another guy who was like talking to the squirrels, right? Dude, yeah, talking, they go nuts talking to squirrels. Couldn't catch yeah. a fish. Had to eat the squirrel. Killed the squirrel. Had to eat the squirrel, and then he had like a mental breakdown because he ate his friends. <laughs> Where Didn't is you? He so he went out. What? He also yeah. tried the and shit. Yeah. Yo, is that on season six as well? That's that might be a different six. season. Oh I'm no, yeah, sure okay. That's six. I'm pretty well. Actually, no, it might have been a difference. I don't know. I don't know, but that shit was. I was laughing on that one. I was like, because he's out there. He's like, this is what it's all about, man. Did wild little squirrel. I was like, Whoop. it's like, hey, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was that one season where I think it was an earlier season where they weren't in the Arctic, but I think they were like in northern Washington. So like just a ton of wooded area. And this lady had built her shelter. And it was funny. She like sounded great the entire time. Like she was like a survivalist woman. And she's like, yeah, I got this all set up, set up the shelter, everything. And she's like, my only problem is like there might be some bears, but I'm in a good spot where I don't think a lot of bears are going to come around here. So I'm fine with it. 
And then one night she turns on her camera, it's dark, and she thinks she hears bears, and she's freaking the fuck out because she can't see anything. And she starts screaming and like calling the people, to, like, come pick her up, and she's quitting the show. And fucking she had a machete, and like I'm sitting there watching it with my dad. And I'm like, how fucked up would it be if the people from the show come to pick her up and her machete is all bloody and she's got blood all over her and she's like, I just killed like fucking three bears. <laughs> like, because this lady Jesus was fucking Christ. built too. She looked like the kind of woman that would wrestle a bear. Like it was, yeah, it was, it's a rough show sometimes. They, 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 they freak the fuck out. Um, but anyway, enough about uh, alone. Um, you know, it's actually... We're getting close to a certain point here, a certain certain point in the episode, certain point in the podcast where uh, I like to ask everyone, uh, Stephanie, do you think it's time? I think it's motherfucking time. All right, J- Jimmy, do you think it's time? Okay, Jimmy's not going to answer me. <laughs> Chuck, do you think it's time? I think it's goddamn time. All right. Well, yeah, at least the three of us think it's time. And <laughs> Jimmy's just got up and is just fucking time dead. for what? Uh, what am I? What am, what am I? Oh, to talk about you, here? you know what it's time for. Justin, oh, you man. know what it's time for. It is time that we do one of our favorite segments we like to do here at Great Morning, and that is, of course, the word of the day. Word, 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 word of the day. Oh, so Justin, I know you know how the word of the day works, but I like to explain it still, just in case we have any new listeners for this episode. So. This is how the word of the day works. Jimmy, if everyone can see Jimmy's screen there, he just pulled out the big old dick. That's what we like to call it. It's an old Webster's dictionary that's been Jimmy's family for thousands and thousands of years. It's been passed down. Now it's at him. He is the rightful holder of this big old dick. All right. He's going to open it up. He's going to put his finger down randomly on a random page. And when he lifts his finger up, whatever it touched will be our word Uh of the day. (laughs) Thank you, Stephanie. Afterwards. Our guest or our special guest co-host, which this time it turns out to be you, Justin, you have to use that word in a sentence. Then at the end of the season, we grade all of our guests or slash, you know, special guest co-host sentences on how funny they were, if they use the word correctly, and how creative the sentence was. And there's the possibility that you will end up on the top 10 list for the season finale. So that's how the word of the day works. Justin, I know you know how it works, but let me ask you anyway, do you understand the rules? Of course, yeah. I got top 10 a couple seasons ago, I think, so we're good. Yeah, hell yeah, there you go. I just want to plug, I just want to say, you know, a lot of people focus on having it make sense, which is cool, but you got to focus on the funniness. Sometimes if it's just funny, man, I just be rating it. (laughs) Rating it up there. Yeah, remember, um, I forget that guy's name. I think it was like two seasons ago, but he said something about a caterpillar that had nothing to do with his word, but it was just it was just so funny that he ended up on the top 10 yeah. list, but it made no yeah, sense. Man. Like, like entertainment, you know, like, eh, yeah, it can make sense, but that shit, it didn't make sense, but that shit was fucking Be funny. creative and funny with it. Like, yeah, I, I, you know, get the word tip. right too, though. You know, that, yeah. that's the pro no, tip I mean, as well. Yeah, I, no, ab- absolutely. Absolutely. But I had a dream. I had a dream about this. I oh, was man. all of that and still lost. <laughs> You got on the top. You were like number four. Yeah, he was up there. No one remembers the loser. It's hard to be number one. I know. Well, no one's going to forget you losing. I don't know if that makes you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you bring it up every fucking time we do this segment. God damn it. You try, you, you try to make sure everyone knows. In my dream, yeah. uh, had a, I, had a, I had a dream that I was in the back, you know, and it was going to be the word of the day from the back of the dictionary. So we're going. We're going way, way back. We're going to get some some good letters in here. All right. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Um, I would also like to say, I forgot to add this part, that um, just in case, because it's a very old uh, dictionary, that um, just in case the word is archaic, I will give a modern day definition on my end as well. Cool. So, Jimmy, whenever you're ready. All right. <laughs> the suspense is killing me right now, Jimmy. I know. He does this on purpose. <laughs> All right. Track alone. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Track spell, please? alone. It is Tra- a genus about 18 species of herbaceous vines with prickly or bristly stems found in North America and Asia, usually called tear thumb. They have a prickly vine leaf, mostly estate, 
or chordate at the base, race most flowers and angeled fruits, traculone, T-R-A-C-A-U-L-O-N, traculone. 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 Let me see what the definition, I think it's the same thing. Yeah, a genus of her herbaceous vines occurring in North America and Asia. Yeah, exa- it's, it's exactly what you said. So it's a fucking vine. <laughs> okay. Um, and I guess, uh, so I have the, how you pronounce it too, Justin, um, just so you pronounce it correctly. It's tracolon. Yeah. Kind of how Jimmy said it. Tracolon. 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 Lon? Lon. L-O-N. Okay. Um, Tracolon. Here, I can even, here, can you see my screen? Tracolon. All right. Well. Man, that sounds like some slang, right? It sounds like, like hey, I was walking down the road and I was trekking on it with my, I don't know, man. Fuck, it's just weird, man. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it sounds like it sounds like Southern old folks slang. Yeah, man. It, it makes me think about Alabama, like <laughs> Alabama. Yo, know, it sounds like a town name, man. Like, yeah, I'm from the town of Trekkalon. <laughs> wait, wait, which one was his sentence? I'm from the town of Trekkalon. That's my that's sentence. A, that's his sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the town of Traculon. Yeah, I uh yeah, that's that's one of those things I feel like I feel like that shouldn't be in the dictionary. <laughs> I feel like it should like, have been on word of the day, man. Y'all couldn't give me a better word. Oh, we do it randomly. That's the whole thing. I know, I know. You know, some people get good ones, some people don't. I you know, you know what's interesting? I'm waiting. I I hope to God it happens. I but just the chances because there's so many pages in that word of the day. We could be doing the show for like 50 seasons and it might not even happen. Um, so, but Jimmy was in the T area, obviously, because it was Trackalon. I'm waiting for the day that comes. Hopefully it comes that Jimmy puts his finger down and he just lands on the. <laughs> <laughs> the. Um, use the word the. Yeah, okay. Sentence. Use the word the in a sentence. And it better be creative, funny, and you better use the word correctly. <laughs> Everyone would get an automatic five on that word if someone got it, because I wouldn't. I would still get a 10. Duh. They would automatically. No, they would automatically get a five because they get the five points in using it correctly. Because how do you fuck up using the? Yeah, you, you, really fuck right. you, you really can't. You can say the cat went to the store and you used the correctly. <laughs> <laughs> that could be your sentence. Yeah, so, the I, word of the day is the, the word of the day is the. Da, 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 da. The also pronounced the yeah that could um that could definitely happen but you know well anyway justin thank you again for, <laughs> for doing the word of the day i know you uh you don't always want to do it i know last time if you listen if anyone goes back to last season and listens to justin's episodes on that um i remember your i remember specifically your word too because you didn't want to do it it was banned and you were like, I don't want to fucking do the word of the day. And I'm like, come on. I'm like trying to make you do it. <laughs> and you're just like, dude, I don't want to fucking do this. Um, but it, yeah, it was it was banned. Um, and this time it was Traculon, which sounds like, you know, what that sounds like that just reminded me of um, what's what's that guy's name? Calculon. You ever heard of Calculon? I have. Yeah. From Futurama, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The acting robot. Dude, that dude, that dude was stealing everyone's hose. Yeah, he was doing that. By the way, they're actually making a new season of Futurama. Isn't that crazy? I wonder if it's going to suck. Um, but yeah, that's coming out. But yeah, that's what that word reminded me of. Man, anyway. Jaculon sounds like a drug now that I'm thinking about it, right? Yeah, it doesn't sound like... Uh, it hey, oh, you tried that new Traculon? Yeah. That, it, Traculon? it doesn't sound like it would be a vine. I feel like plant... Like, with the scientific terms for plants, I feel like they always end in an is... Like an is... They always have an S at the end. I feel like the what plant ends in S? No, like the the scientific terms. Scientific I, don't know. I can't name them. Saying cannabis. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. There's, yeah, thank you. That's one. Yeah, cannabis. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Cannabis. Cannabis is one. I'm sure there are other. I feel like they just end in S's, I don't, not an N. But you know, I could be uh, I could be fucking wrong. But um, anyway, I'm here for the people. I'll roll with it. Yeah, you're. Yeah, this you. fucked me up. Why'd that fuck you up? Because I can't think. <laughs> well anyway i uh you know i wanted to ask um stephanie something here real quick stephanie 
Do you have, um, by any chance, we haven't done this in a while. Do you have any uh, of those America facts since, uh, you know, we're doing this yes, cl- uh, close do. to the 4th of July? Um, well, do. yeah, Stephanie, I think it's time we heard some uh, motherfucking facts. Let's get some fucking facts. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think it's time. I think it's time for Stephanie to give us some fucking facts. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. Yeah. Let's hear those fucking facts. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So I didn't know this. So did you know that the great Statue of Liberty is actually situated in New Jersey? Than New yeah. York. Yes, it's technically on the that. yes, it's technically on the New Jersey border. I did not know that. Yeah, we did. I know that because I grew up in New Jersey, and that was like everyone's bragging thing. Like, oh yeah, well, really? if New York's so good. If New York's so good, why is the Statue of Liberty technically in New Jersey? Take that, fucking why? Why won't they just move the goddamn border then? Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> why would they do that? Just for a statue. This- this is the stupid shit that I'm going to do when I run for president after Kanye West. You know, fix the stupid shit. <laughs> why? Well, why? Why not just keep it in New Jersey then, Chuck? Because it's supposed to be in New York. No, it would be in New York if it was supposed to be in New York. But is it Staten Island in New York? Yes. Yeah, but that's a different place. <laughs> We're talking about the Statue of Liberty, not Staten Island. Fuck it, move the whole fucking thing. Right, it's <laughs> in New York. We're going to take the Statue of Liberty. And push it over here. It's my first act as president. All right, I love it. That's All right, right. Stephanie. and I'm going to print up money, pay off the debt. Yeah, you can't do that. We just found yes, out you I can't can. do that. No, you, you actually cannot do that. Did you Did you not hear what just happened with Biden? I'm the president. I can do whatever the fuck did I want. Did you not hear what just happened with Biden? I hate to bring politics to this. No. I abuse of power. Yeah, no, uh, Biden tried to pay off the student debt. He, and he said that when he was running, that he would do that. And then they were yeah. like, the Supreme Court was like, yeah, you can't do that. And he was like, oh, <laughs> then, then, then it was over. No, that's why no. I'm picking everybody. I'm giving everybody a day off. It's just going to be me and one other dude that knows how to work the machine. We're going to print all the fucking money up. And I'm not going to tell anybody. Money's just going to come out of nowhere. And you know what? The value of the dollar will stay the same because no one's going to know. That that's just more money. How would no one know that? That's exactly like the FBI <laughs> has a whole department to figure shit out like that. Have you ever, have you never seen the movie like um what was that movie uh with Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks? It was called like Catch Me If You Can, right? Yeah, oh yeah. That's exactly what they did with him because he was doing the same thing. Like that that money didn't exist, but he was writing fake checks. He was making fake checks that said like, oh well, the um Trans America Airline has given me you know this is a fourteen hundred dollar check and since the check looked real and it would take a while to get to the federal bank they wouldn't find out that the check would bounce for like two weeks so they would just give them the money you can't do that money is fake anyway well no it's not really anymore because everyone in the world uses it it's fake money is so fake just print the shit out chuck i'm I'm telling you like literally uh, the president of the united states just tried to do what you did and they were like no (laughs) And literally the exact same thing you said you would do as president. He just said he tried to do. And they said, no, <laughs> I'm not trying to pay off people's student loan debt. Maybe you just said that. Hard. No, I'm paying off our debt. The country's done it. That's even Fuck worse. China. That's even worse. That's like in the trillions. <laughs> print it out. How are you going to print that? That money doesn't even exist. It will. Stop printing it out. Yeah. Then the value of the dollar goes down. That's why I'm giving everybody the day off. The dollar is money. So you just found a trillion dollars. And what, what are you yeah. going to say? Where did you get it? It fell off the truck. It fell off a truck? <laughs> yeah. I don't think you know how much a trillion is. It couldn't fit in a truck. It's fake. It's money, the value of a dollar, is all in the mind anyway. It's, people made up the, 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 the economic value of a dollar. Fucking bread should still be 50 cents like it used to be. Well, that's just because of inflation. Wait, what am I? I'm going down a rabbit hole with you. I don't. I don't want to go down a rabbit hole with you right now, Chuck. I 
I say this with love. You are my dear friend, and I love having you on the podcast. But if you ran for president, I don't think I'm voting for you, buddy. I'm sorry. That's a no for me, dog. I think it's a no for me. That's fine. (laughs) All right. Listen, if you vote for me, I think I'm good. I'm a good looker. I was always good at finding people in hide and seek. So I think I might just happen to find a truck full of a trillion dollars to pay off this debt. Like, I'd be like, yeah, I don't know if I should vote for John. (laughs) I don't think that's a good idea. All right. Well, anyway, I'm so sorry about that. Um, Stephanie, do you have a, I'm sorry, another fact for us, please. Yeah. So the fuck? I didn't know this. Mm. Um, It is. This can be true. It is legal for children to smoke in the United States. That can't be true. It's legal for children to smoke in the United States. Yeah. I don't think that's true. It is true. Yeah, I don't think that's true. It is true? How is that true? You have to be 21 to buy cigarettes. Uh, You got to be 18 to buy cigarettes federally. And you just can't buy them if you're under 18. Doesn't mean you can't smoke them. Oh, that's what. Okay. So it's, oh, it's trying to be like, well, if you just happen to find a pack of cigarettes, go for it, kid. Wow. You can't get in trouble for smoking, but you can get in trouble for buying it underage. Is that, the same Is that the same for drinking then? Oh, uh, no. Some states have a law called internal possession. Yeah. So if you're underage and consume alcohol, you've internally possessed the alcohol, and now you're in trouble. Oh, wow. man. Hmm. Okay. Well, that, all right. Well, thank you. That was, yeah, that was interesting. All right. Let's hear another one. Okay. So Alaska was, Alaska was bought from Russia at two cents per acre. Did you know that? Yeah. I I didn't know the exact amount, but I know it was bought from Russia because, um, well, one of, there was a couple reasons, but one of the main reasons, because people today are like, why was Russia stupid enough to give us a state so close to Russia? Um, but they, they had wanted to sell that land because they were not doing well financially during that time. So they were like, like maybe we, if we sell this big chunk of land that we barely go to anyway to America, we'll get a lot of our money back. So, yeah, they I didn't know it was two cents an acre. But I yeah. mean, yeah, I guess that makes I mean, sure. Back then, why not? Um, Let's see. Britain oh. didn't want that shit. I guess not. Huh? They really didn't want, Britain didn't want that shit. Britain didn't want that shit. <laughs> OK. Here's one regarding Nevada. Mm. Almost the entire Nevada is owned by the U.S. government. Did you know that? The entire oh, yeah, military bases and shit. Almost, almost the entire, like, state of Nevada. Oh, so okay, I understand oh. what you mean now. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Really? That would make sense because yeah, there's more yeah. Uh, federal institutions in the state than you know, other, <laughs> other things. We. We damn near own an entire state and we can't come up with a trillion dollars to pull this shit off. I'm not listening to this anymore. <laughs> I, I want you to stop with the trillion dollar thing. Uh, all right. Oh. Look, so um, it is observed that more people live in New York City than 40 out of 50 states of the U.S. Yeah, I could believe that. New York City has a huge population. Uh-huh. And yeah, then... um. The water stored in Lake Superior could cover all of America up to one feet. Really? Yeah. That's kind of scary. That is. Yeah. Well, one foot's not bad. Yeah, but I mean, shit. You're just walking around and, you know, we're all taller than one foot as long as you're not a fucking baby. Right. (laughs) Fucking baby walking around. You know what what, what else I heard about Lake Superior? This is a meme, so I don't know if it's fully true. That if you dump a body in there, it's so cold that the bacteria won't grow on the body to make the body float. Bro, you what? know what? I heard that. Yeah. Well, rather, I've read that. Yeah. It's, does that mean the body won't deteriorate that fast, or that it just won't float? It won't float. I don't know about the deterioration. Oh, so you don't even have to put any like you don't have to tie any cinder blocks or yeah. anything to the body. You just dunk it. Ah, in. You guys know a little bit too much about that. Do we? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, mean, right, yeah. well, this is the podcast where we give people advice on how to get away with murder. But I mean, you know, that's <laughs> yeah. that's that's another topic for another time. Of course. All right. I didn't know that, Chuck. Thank you for that fact. And, and Stephanie, uh, how about uh, three more? All right. So the U.S. has the highest rate of the of the tornado as compared to any other country in the world. That I didn't know that, but that that sounds believable. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't. I wouldn't disagree with that fact if someone told it to me because we have a lot of that. Tornadoes. 
we, we have a lot of those, uh, the flatlands, especially in the middle of the country. So it's just easier for tornadoes to not only form, but to just keep going for a while. Uh, for a tornado. Oh. Um, let's see. Three of the world's oldest rivers flow in the United States. Did you know that? What are they? Doesn't say. Well, probably the Mississippi. Yeah. What are the other two? <laughs> I don't know. The other two, I don't know. I don't fucking know. All right, cool. Well, I'm glad it just said that. Didn't say what rivers. Yeah. Um, all right, Stephanie. Yeah, and one last fact, please. Um, let's see. Finish off strong here. Oh, I got a good fact. Yeah. All right. Well, Justin will give it after uh, Stephanie. Hopefully, it's not the same fact. <laughs> it's the good factoid. Okay, so the official state animal of California is the grizzly bear, but there are no grizzly bears in California since 1922. What? Yeah, they killed them all. Yeah. It's messed up. California? The California Republic, the flag has that. Um, yeah, I mean, there used to be a long time. There used to be a bunch of grizzly bears all over the country. Um, but there's bears, though. There's like black bears, right? I There might be. I don't know. Yeah, maybe up north, like closer to San Fran, that area. Yeah. Dude, I there's got to be bears in California. Well, no, no grizzly bears is what Stephanie said. Oh. I mean, there are bears are bears, right? Bears are bears. No, that's not true at all. <laughs> it's not true. If you, if someone's pointed a gun to your head and said, hey, you're going to die unless you go into one of these cages for five minutes, you get to choose which cage you want to go into. One has a black bear. One has a grizzly bear. You choose the fucking black bear in a heartbeat. <laughs> in a fucking heartbeat. Grizzly bears are very, very aggressive and they have killed people. <laughs> all I know is if I'm going into a cave with a bear, there's a bear. Yeah. But yeah, like a black bear That's won't attack it. you there's unless a there's yep. a bear. A grizzly bear. bear will fuck you up. A black bear will probably leave up. a black bear will leave you alone unless it just happened to have kids, which in this scenario, let's yeah. say it doesn't have kids with it. If it's not a mother protecting its young, the black bears usually just run away from people. We'll probably just try to get away from you. Grizzly bears yeah. will fuck you up. Grizzly bears have chased people right on bikes. Oh my god, they are fucking yeah. They don't give a fuck at they, all. Like they will fuck, fuck you up. Are they are they almost extinct? I think they're endangered in a lot of places. Hmm. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't, I don't know. Seems like the black bears winning, you know? Yeah, because they don't they don't attack as many people, so they're left alone. All right, so who's winning? A grizz a gorilla or a grizzly bear? Oh my god, the, 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 the go. question. The question of our lifetime. I have um I have many people know he's been on the show many times. O'Shea Ivy. I've discussed this with him many times, and we have uh differing sides um on who would win. He believes a grizzly bear would win. I like to say a gorilla, but if I'm being truly honest, probably a grizzly bear. But I, I would like to think a gorilla would win because I saw King Kong take on three T Rexes at once before. So I, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> If you just, you know, obviously, you know, shorten that down to regular gorilla size, I think maybe, you know, all, all the gorilla's got to do, it, it's got to be a smart gorilla. And then the gorilla could win. These Wait, gorillas gotta, not smart already? Well, I mean, it's got to be smarter because I feel like if a grizzly bear is just charging at a gorilla, it'll try to run away. Um, but if the gorilla is like, all right, I'm going to hold my ground. Wait until the grizzly bear is about to strike. Then I do like a side maneuver, get up on its arm, throw myself up on its back. I don't think the grizzly or the grizzly bear will be able to do anything. I think then if the gorilla's on its yeah. back, it can just bonk its head a bunch of times. Bro, not even bonk its head. Do you see the fangs that gorillas have, bro? Yeah, yeah but grizzly bears have bite. thick, sh thick skin. Bro, I, thick I think skin a grizzly. Would, I mean, I think a gorilla would fuck up a grizzly. I think it would definitely be a fight for the ages. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be like Elon Musk versus uh, Mark Zuckerberg, pretty much. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Well, I wonder if that's going to fucking happen. Um, in the well, Roman Coliseum, apparently. Let's get the data. All right, let's get the data. Let's analyze the data. Okay. Let's project it. And then we'll see how the grizzly bear might just win against the gorilla. Well, who do you think would win, Jimmy? The grizzly bear. The grizzly bear. Okay. Chuck, who do you think would win? The grizzly bear. Okay. And Stephanie, who do you think would win? The burr. The what? The burr. Oh, the bear. You're saying the bear. The bear. Yep. The bear. Okay. I thought you were saying bird for a second. I was like, oh. 
I don't like birds. I know. That's why I thought it was weird that that was your answer. But never mind. You were saying bear. All right, cool. So Justin and I are kind of the only ones who have hope for the gorilla. Um, yeah, I don't. I think if the gorilla gets on that grizzly bear's back, the gorilla's got a good chance of fucking that thing up. But I don't know if it can do that. That's the thing. It, it, those grizzly bears, if they, their fucking claws, man, are like fucking six inch razor. <laughs> like they will fuck you up. And then not only if it tries yeah. to bite you and then it does that shake thing, like it'll break your fucking yeah. spine. Yeah. The sheer power of a grizzly bear is fucking. There has, someone had to have created a program like an animal fight simulator. Oh, I'm looking it up right now. I mean, that's what Jess yeah, like, is like. I'm trying to fucking find this right now. It's 2023. There's, I, I, I would like, this sounds terrible. I would like to be maybe like those billionaires. And instead of doing that weird shit that gets like billionaires in trouble all the time, the only thing I would do is I would secretly try to set up a, like a small coliseum, exactly like we talked about, and I would get a grizzly bear and a full-grown silverback gorilla and put them in there. And I would just, I would be like the only one, maybe a couple of my friends, that way no one found out about it, that way no one, like Pete is not on my back, and we just watch, and whoever wins, we're like, all right. We fucking destroy everything. <laughs> Make sure there's no evidence. We put the grizzly bear back or the gorilla back, whichever one. If they have any scars, maybe then we'd have to hide it. I don't know. And we just get rid of all the evidence and we pretend it never happened. But then I would know. I'd be like, all right, I know who fucking won that fucking. The, so the, the on the website that I'm on, a grizzly would win based okay. on size, height, and aggression. But what the, gri- what the gorilla has is the strength. In the okay. termination, in the smarts. Mm. But it still says a grizzly would win. Just based on aggression and size. Yeah. But those are just two factors, right? Yeah. Like gorillas have longer arms. Gorillas are smarter. And they're stronger. It would also uh, depend. It would have to. Like what environment would you have them fight? Because if it was just like an open space with sand, like, like the Roman Colosseum, <laughs> the grizzly bear would probably win. But like, if there are some motherfucking trees in there, I know bears can climb trees, but the gorilla can swing faster. So I wonder, like, if the gorilla got some like, you know, air strike going, and he's he's just like, if the gri- gri- grizzly's like trying to climb the tree, he just swings onto the next tree, you know, flips off the grizzly, tires it out doing that, and then goes down for the kill. I don't know, it, like, what environment would you? How put long that fight do you in? think? How long do you think that fight would take? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think it, that depends on the environment. Because if it's just like sand, nothing else going on, I think it would be a quick fight. But if the gorilla's got some place to get high, it's a fucking damage. You might even be able to fucking take some, tr- you know, you know, twigs and like fucking throw them yeah. at the fucking grizzly bears, some shit. The world will never know. Not gonna uh, lie, that would be a good ass fucking fight. That would motherfuckers would pay pay per view. That's like a uh, Errol, Errol Spence. Terrence Crawford type of shit. You know? You guys follow boxing at all? You said that like, no, I'm just laughing because you said you said that like you were really high or something. No. <laughs> well, just, all right. Like, I guess we have to find an AI generator to do it for us. Yeah, GPT. Oh, Chat GPT. I'm going to ask ChatGPT that question, actually. So ChatGPT said that the grizzly would win. I don't believe you. What the fuck does that grizzly yeah. What the fuck Chat, does ChatGPT ChatGPT Chat said the, the grizzly would win. Okay, because now. Because of its size, formidable strength, and sharp claws, and powerful bite. What did you type in exactly into ChatGPT? I said gorilla versus grizzly bear. You just said that. Okay. Yeah. Now, can you type into chat GPT gorilla versus grizzly bear, but there are trees that the gorilla can climb? So I just, I, just, I just got the answer from chat GPT. So the question I asked was who would win in a fight, a grizzly or a gorilla? And it says in a hypothetical fight between a grizzly bear and a gorilla, several factors would come into play, such as size, strength, agility, and fighting instincts. Grizzlies have evolved to be efficient hunters and are accustomed to taking down large prey. They have powerful swipes and bites that cause serious damage. However, gorillas are highly intelligent and possess dexterity in their movements. They have been observed using tools and get strategized to some extent. 
Given the factors, it is difficult to definitive, definitively determine the outcome of such a fight. So my chat GPT says, a hypothetical fight between a gorilla and a grizzly bear is an intriguing topic, but it's important to remember that such encounters do not occur in the wild. Fast, 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 fast. Size and strength. Grizzly bears are generally larger and heavier than gorillas. Bah, 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 bah. Physical abilities. Gorillas are incredibly strong animals known for their muscular bodies and powerful arms, and they're capable of displaying immense strength. Bah, 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 bah. Fighting style and behavior. Gorillas are generally peaceful animals, and conflicts among gorillas are typically resolved through displays of dominance and intimidation. Bah, 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 bah. Grizzly bears, while not inherently aggressive and more solitary, and can be territorial. Outcome, given the grizzly bear's large size, formidable strength, sharp claws, and powerful bite, it is generally considered to have the advantage in a physical confrontation with a gorilla. However, it is important to note that fighting ability can also depend on individual temperament, experience, and other factors that are difficult to predict. Ultimately, it is not ethically or practically appropriate to pit these animals against each other in a real-life scenario. It's not ethically appropriate. I like how it added that. It knew I was in the call. It's like, all right. Uh Um, Okay. Now, okay, Jimmy, can you do me a favor? Or Justin, which is either of you want to do it. Type in the chat GPT. Type in who would win in a fight? A grizzly bear or Christian Murmur, but Christian Murmur also has an AK-47. I think Christian Murmur would, would still lose. I don't, I don't want to know what you think. I want to know what ChatGPT thinks. <laughs> so, Christian All right, let's Murmur. See. It says, I apologize, but I cannot provide an answer to that question. It pro- probably because it doesn't know who I am yet. So type in uh, Christian Murmur, uh, podcast host of Great Morning the Podcast. <laughs> it should know me that if we do that. It should know exactly who the fuck I am. Okay, I'm just gonna say who would win in a fight. Big guy. A guy? No, Christian Murmur. What guy? Would win? I guess. I guess you can say if you want to. If you got to get specific with me, um, I'll probably have boots on. So okay, uh, white guy, six foot, um, 175 pounds, um, 12 inch penis. And um, a uh, AK-47. Two grenades. The Grizzlies winning. Fuck! <laughs> it, it also said, in any case, it is crucial to reiterate that such a confrontation should not be sought and attempting to harm or engage with wild animals <laughs> is dangerous and illegal. Oh, man, that's funny. Did you... Uh, wait, this wait, chat maybe... GPT is recording all of this now, man. Yeah, Damn me- it. Me- Maybe it didn't know. Did you did you add in the fact that I have a 12 inch penis? Because I think that would come in handy. I forgot the one. Oh, so you just put a two inch penis. Yeah. Okay, of course. Of course. Um, okay, well that <laughs> that's very wrong, by the way. Um, anyway. Uh you know what? I want to do one more. I'm sorry. I really gotta know. Who would win the fight? Put this in. Who would win the fight? A grizzly bear or a full grown hippopotamus? Hmm. Who would yeah, win the see. fight? I don't think the hippo would win. I, I, I don't think I, they're equipped to. Not at all. Hippos all they have are big tusks. Hippos are extremely aggressive, and they, I think they kill more people than like lions, tigers, bears, and wolves a year or something like that. Yeah, but... They look cute, uh, but they're fucking nasty. I just don't see them beating a fucking... What do you say? A grizzly bear? Yeah. No. Yeah, no, that would that wouldn't happen. A oh, grizzly bear would still win. Well, Chad GBT just says it doesn't know because hippos are semi-aquatic. Mm. Sorry, Merms. Who would win in a fight? A grizzly bear or John Wick? <laughs> oh, John Wick. Ooh. Did the grizzly bear know. kill his dog? The, yeah, the grizzly bear killed his dog. Yeah. Because he's got to be angry. Because I feel like John Wick wouldn't just go out and kill a grizzly bear. He's a nice guy. Except for all the killing. Wow, it's actually like making a prompt for that scenario. Um, while John Wick is portrayed as an exceptional fighter in the movies, it is unlikely that even a highly skilled human could defeat a grizzly. God damn. Those in a real life so scenario, it would be highly dangerous and ill advised for anyone to engage in a physical fight with a grizzly bear. Wasn't there a book written about a kid who killed a, a grizzly bear? I if he do- did, he probably gave that grizzly bear the cocaine. That's probably the one. That was a black bear. That was a black bear? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Never mind. If a grizzly bear got cocaine, I would, I would make sure I'm at least three states away from wherever the fuck that was happening. 
Was it like some bear that it. OD'd on cocaine or something? That's what he's talking about, the cocaine bear. They made a movie about it, and like it's very fictionalized. But yes, a, a bear did eat, a black bear did eat cocaine that fell out of a drug guy's uh, airplane when he was trying to smuggle it. <laughs> um, and it, it didn't kill anyone. Like in the movie, it makes it seem like it went on this rampage. It didn't kill anyone. It like ran around and got super high and then had a heart attack and died. Hard to have a real one. But, yeah, but they have it at a museum. Is when those kids took did the cocaine. That shit was funny. I didn't see the movie yet. Oh damn! All right, <laughs> it, it's on. It's on Peacock. You want my goddamn? You want my subscription? You want my? Logo? No, I. I, uh, I, want I think to I have it. Peacock. I think I have Peacock, so I'll check it out. Um. All right. Well, anyway, does anyone have one last scenario before we start wrapping things up that they want to put into chat GPT? Yeah. <laughs> no. One more fighting scenario. Anyone? No. No, no one. All right, fine. All right, well, we're done then. I'm sorry. Well, anyway, yes, we're, we're actually getting to that uh, that sad, 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 sad time of the podcast where we got to go around the computer screen and do our last minute plugs. It is time to get out of here. We are at time. I'm sorry, but yes, this is we, we got to wrap it up now. All right, this is it. No more chat GPT fights. All right, one day hopefully we can see these fights in action, but you know, not today. We just got to ask chat GPT. But anyway, with that being said, uh, Stephanie, my friend, do you have any last minute plugs for the listeners? No, I don't, but I just want to say thank you um, to our listeners for just always tuning in and just being amazing ass fucking people. Um, shout out to you guys for being absolutely fucking amazing. Thank you for um, just, you know, being who you are. And shout out to our guests for coming through today and, you know, blessing us with his with his time. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, you know, like. Yeah, that's that's it. Hell yeah. Hey, uh whose uh uh smoke detector is going off? <laughs> you know what? I really don't know which from like I don't know. I know it's one of you motherfuckers. Who is it? Who's called who's... Oh no, it's 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 me. It ain't me. Oh it it's oh me. it is you. Oh because I got I got white people in the house so my smoke detector is go off like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Well, yeah, no, I figured that was coming from someone um, because I kept hearing it. Yes. Well, thank you, Stephanie, for your last minute plugs there. Um, and uh, Jimmy, my friend, do you have any last minute plugs for listeners? Shout out to the Grizzlies. Mm. Shout out to the Bears. Shout out to the Gorillas. Shout out to all nature. Shout out to the world, man. Shout out to Earth. Shout out to the, to the nation. Shout out to, to firecrackers. <laughs> Shout out to Clorox cleanup wipes. And, okay. and, and also Papa John's. I feel like you're just naming shit you're seeing in your house right now. Shout out to <laughs> you guys. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, not me. The listeners. Of course. Yes. The listeners. Of course. Of course. Of course. Well, thank you, Jimmy, for those last minute plugs. And of course, uh, our in-studio comedian, Chuck, do you have any last minute plugs for listeners? Hey, man. Appreciate being on this show every day. I'm so thankful. Uh, happy 4th of July, everybody. Yeah, uh, yeah celebrate. Because America is absolutely the greatest country. America. 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 Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Coming to save the oh, okay. fucking day now, America. Uh, yeah, if you have any time, go watch that movie. That movie's always fucking hilarious. Um, that is my shit. I'm going to watch it after Money in the Bank. What is that? It's it's movie. called Team America World Police. The <laughs> best. That's yeah. a great. That's a great fucking movie. Um. Well, yes. Uh. Well, thank you, Chuck, for your last minute plugs. My last minute plugs before we get into our special honor guest uh, co-host here today. My last minute plugs are, of course, you can follow uh Great Morning underscore the podcast on Instagram. That's our uh, Great Morning uh, Instagram page. That's where you'll find all uh you know your you know new guests coming out, new episodes, all that specials. You'll find out all that information on there. So go ahead and give that a follow. You can follow you love Steph on Instagram. You can follow slightly special two L's on Instagram. You can follow Tope as Kin on Instagram. You can follow Trip God Jimmy. That's T R Y P G O D J I M I on Instagram. Um, you can shop for your merchandise at shopgreatmorning.com. Again, that is shopgreatmorning.com. You can, and you know what? Do us a favor. Um, on any of your uh podcast apps that you listen to us on, whether it be Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, general podcast app, whatever you do it on, give us that uh five star rating or that thumbs up, you know, whatever there. You know, we really appreciate that. And leave us a comment. We like reading those too. Um, but anyway, yes, those are my last minute plugs. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Happy Independence Day. I, uh, you know, God bless America. This, I do agree. I think this is the greatest country on the face of the earth. Even if we got a lot of problems, that's okay. Because a lot of other countries have problems too. 
Um, so God bless America. Happy 4th of July to all of you. And uh, without further ado, our special honor guest co-host, our dear friend, Justin Tubo. Do you have any last words, last minute plugs for the, for the listeners out there? Yeah, shout out to the Great Morning fam. Thanks for having me on. Shout out to the listeners. And Jimmy took all my other, uh, my other shout outs, man. Clorox wipes. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> Gotta fucking love it. Well, hell yeah, man. Thank you for coming on. We always love talking to you and we always love having you here for, you know, the random, random crap we end up talking about. Uh, but yeah, that was, of course, our episode. Great morning. 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 Great morning.